What's that crap in the canisters? Be careful. That is a specimen called plush, or ivy. It is extremely dangerous. Yeah, I've seen this crap before. And of course, the ripped off arm is in there too. Why could it just be lying in a corner somewhere? Don't touch me. Son of a bitch almost took me out. Let's hope another one of those freaks doesn't come crawling out of the next canister. According to my data, the second canister is sealed properly. About that doll, Vladlena? I understand that your toys aren't really for young children, but it'd be a shame to throw them away. And I feel a little weird about keeping them myself. Anyway, they found- Have you infiltrated the VDNH yet, Major? The government commission is almost here. I'm inside, looking for a way to activate military drill mode. Things have been complicated by a shitload of weird shit. Any more questions? Well, look faster. Don't let Dr. Sechenov down again. Speaking of weird shit... The puppy by the facility gate two weeks ago with that doll in its mouth. Maybe it got lost, or maybe it was just abandoned. It seemed like a fine dog. But it wouldn't give up the doll. It just kept carrying it around in its mouth. <sighs> Thought about using it as a guard dog, but it was just too nasty. Anyway, we ended up giving it to Pavlov. They love dogs there, and they won't hurt it. But I didn't know what to do with the doll. So I thought I might give it to your museum. I just feel too sad looking at it. Why isn't anybody working? You fucked in the head!
snap, crunch, crack, collarbone, pain. Were you on the tour? Crunch, break, bend, snap, spine. Gotcha. I'll tell the tour guide I found one of her people. Looks like a med student. So, what was wrong with the real beta connectors? Since Collective was originally planned without any discretionary authority, everyone in it was supposed to be equal. Yeah, we already talked about that. Then why'd they need the beta connectors? To secure Collective against unforeseen threats from individuals who might wish to control it. That's impossible. Everybody's equal in Collective. Shit. The Alpha Connector. Indeed. Intruders or an opposition force among equals could try to obtain the Alpha Connector. This could lead to human casualties, which would be unacceptable. So how could Beta Connectors stop this from happening? They didn't give their carriers any discretionary authority, but they did allow them to be present within Collective without being a part of it. In other words, they had total autonomy while retaining access to the information network. So what? That's basically what we have right now. You're seeing this from a human perspective. What other kind of perspective could I... Oh, crap. The boss wanted to put beta rings on some robots so no one else in Collective could control them. Indeed they are. At first, Dr. Sechenov planned to order his loyal twins to guard the Alpha Connector. While logged into Collective, he could control them from anywhere on Earth. At the same time, no one else would be able to give them orders. They wouldn't even know that they exist. Hold on, Charles. <laughs> I don't quite get it. Would it be possible to launch Collective with everybody equal? Then, destroy the Alpha Connector? Certainly. But that begs another question. Who would choose to do that? Dr. Sechenov. Are you sure about that, Comrade Major? Yeah. I mean, I guess. Here's your left arm. <laughs> Go ahead, fix yourself up. Scanning the exhibition area. Module head found. Establishing coordinates. Assessing structural integrity. Head location. Chelame floor. Structural integrity compromised. Excessive pressure detected. Excessive pressure. Shit, it's dark here.
Crispy fucking. Where's the shit ass way out of here? Underground or something? Me. 
Where am I supposed to find the head? You need to enter Icarus Hall. It is located on the second story of this venue. So where's the entrance? Unfortunately, I do not have this information. Everything's got mixed up after the malfunction. <clears throat> no shit, Sherlock. Have you considered powering the beluga? How is that supposed to help? I don't know. It's just a suggestion. Well, I guess it can't hurt to try. It's not like we've got a lot of other options. Tereshkova, where's the power room around here? At the very top! <laughs> Fantastic. Cut off. Just what I always wanted. Your head. on the tour? Does it matter? No. Maybe. Yes. Certainly. But it no longer matters. I dislike this vague, jelly-like state of mind, and do not wish to prolong this mental agony with pointless communication. The mental agony of pointless communication. <laughs> Charles, how did this comrade know you and I have been talking? Such sparkling wit and biting humor, comrade major. I find myself in the uncomfortable situation not entirely unlike a long wait before a parting or a long journey that nobody is eager to take but needs to or is forced to. That's a gloomy philosophy you got there. I've got nothing to add. Charles, so after Dr. Sechenov created the new Gamma Connectors, he destroyed the old Beta Connectors, right? Officially, yes. But only the technology used to manufacture the Beta Connectors was destroyed. The pair of experimental rings were simply removed from all records and declared recycled. Why go to all that trouble? He didn't want to destroy the fruits of his painstaking labor. Dr. Sechenov simply kept them as souvenirs. So where are they now? They were somewhere in the Sechenov Science Center here at Facility 3826. 
they apparently disappeared after the malfunction began. Apparently. You see what's going on here, don't you? No one knows anything for sure right now. The rings could be on a lab bench somewhere, or destroyed by rampaging robots. There won't be any need for them in Collective. Dr. Sechenov and his scientists will be able to solve any problem without them. I couldn't agree more. So where's the very top? The other agent survived.
I mean, lots of books, but this one.
Do you have to time this? God! This is where the power comes from. Are you sure? Definitely. How? Because this place has my favorite thing in the whole fucking world. A relay. Really? I thought you were more partial to canisters. Oh, come on. I'm dumb. Endlessly stupid. I died because of my stupidity. If somebody buries me, put these words on my tombstone. What happened? I tried to run, but I didn't know how to rotate these things on the floor, so I failed. I could have opened the passage. It's a security relay. Looks simple enough. But I panicked and did something stupid. And then wham! Blood everywhere. There was pain and that was it. Yeah, you gotta adjust them by color. Well, shit happens. It's not your fault. I'll tell the tour guide you're, uh, here still.
Ricky.
See if this thing helps. Did it? Oh, yeah. Wait, what are you doing all the way down here? Head back up this instant. Your suit isn't designed for this kind of pressure. What pressure? Where do you think we are? We're underwater, comrade. Running a check on a deep sea device. Just look. We got fish, sea creatures, and other fauna all around us. Get back up to the surface, frogman. This is interesting. What's interesting is how you can withstand this kind of pressure. If you don't get back to the surface right now, you're a dead man. Off you go, frogman. Keep your left arm up and watch where you're going. Steer clear of those rotors. Hey, what's the matter with this guy, Charles? I mean, I get that he's dead and all, but still... This is the neural network's equivalent of PTSD. If a victim dies suddenly, their consciousness can modulate an alternate perception of reality based on their preferences and environment. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Wait, what are you doing all the way down here? This is a... Heading to the surface, sir. Hey, what's the matter with this guy, Charles? I mean, that this is the neural net. If a victim dies suddenly, I just react it. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Right. What do we have here? Tereshkova, do you copy? Yes, dear comrade. The communication is restored. So, where's that head of yours? My head is where it's supposed to be. But Claire's head should be somewhere on your floor. Like I said earlier, something is crushing it with terrible force. Like a migraine. Like an excavator. Like an entire mountain. I get it. I really do. All your whining is giving me a migraine, too. I'll go look for it. Looks like a maze for kids. This will be a cakewalk. Jumpy little thing, ain't ya?
How do I rotate you, huh? Hey, I think I get it. Now we're getting somewhere. Any idea what you're doing, Major? Just a sec. Is it really that difficult? Damn fucking critters! <laughs> yeah! Gotcha! Let us nice! Fall. Easy. When warmth and beauty mingle, let the paths turn. A carcass lay a sprawl. Upon a bed of shingles, flakes raised like some old war, far gone in passion. The burning, deadly, poison sweating mass. Open, haunting, careless, cynic fashion. Balloon with evil gas. On this future sense, the sun blazed in gold, cooking it to a turn with eager care. So to repay to nature hundredfold what she had mingled there, the sky, as on the opening of... Ed, we gotta keep moving. Charles, any idea how much time we got left? I cannot say for sure, but definitely not much. Finally, I got all her parts.
activated military drill mode yet. Molotov's condo is about to land. Everything's all set. I'm gonna go do it now. Hurry, hurry! You only have a couple of minutes. I understand that you are busy, but... Yeah. I found all four of them. One in Vavilov, one in Pavlov. There was a body in every section. Of course, no one survived. That is regrettable. Shame. But I at least know what happened. The last tour really did not end well. Forgive me for wasting your time. As you can see... I do not have anything to thank you with. It's okay. I don't really need anything. Thank you so much. I am... I feel better now. May the odds be ever in your favor. Right. Installing the head. Double two, seven, nine, nine, one, zero, zero, oh. Hey, rise and shine. Good morning to you. Thank you. All her body parts assembled. What now? Self-repair procedure complete. I am ready for service. Thank you, comrade. We will now initiate the launch sequence. First launch code sequence generated. Please confirm that launch code sequence is matched. Second launch code sequence generated. Launch code sequences match. Initiating BDNH mode of operational change. New mode, military drill. Whew, I think we made it. Thanks, ladies. Thank you, dear comrade. Initiated. All employees evacuate the complex immediately. Please, comrade Molotov, I beg you. It's not safe here. So it's still dangerous. I was told everything was under control. There was a minor issue, but Major Nichayev, uh, forgive me. Agent P3 has already dealt with it. What exactly did he deal with? There's blood all over the place. That's not blood. It's paint. Comrade Sechenov, you're playing a dangerous game here. Greetings, Comrade Molotov. I don't follow you. What game? You know what I'm talking about, Comrade Sechenov. Your local malfunction is actually a worldwide catastrophe. Your robots in combat mode. Countless human casualties. Need I go on? Oh, please do. 
But first I'd like to know how you obtained this information. From Viktor Vasilievich Petrov, your engineer, an outstanding roboticist, an honored citizen of the Soviet Union. That's what he used to be. Now he's prisoner number 230385, sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. By your order, you are in direct violation of Soviet law. As a minister, the minister of industry, you know the consequences. Here is the Procurator General's decree. The upcoming launch of the Collective Neural Network will be cancelled, and you'll be the subject of a full-fledged investigation. Am I making myself clear, Comrade Sechenov? Comrade Molotov, may I have a word with you in private? <laughs> Do you really think that's going to change anything? <laughs> Fine. I'll meet you here in 15 minutes. Mikhail, meet me at the landing pad. Right away, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Aren't you in a hurry to see your master, Major? Stockhausen seems awfully eager. Is something wrong, Major? Major, I asked you a question. Lock the door. What's going on? I said lock the door. 